Hey guys. So I was gonna show you guys how Avia does with blood checks. We, it's time to check her blood um, before she eats. We check it before she eats, an hour after she eats, and two hours after she eats. And if it's still high at two hours after, I usually check it at three hours just to make sure. And I totally just dropped a Band-Aid. Band-Aids always help. Um, I don't always use a Band-Aid, but it does help when I do. To, for her to like have a little something after. So I already put a test strip in. You can see it's like um, flashing for blood. Avia, come here, hurry, it's your turn. We have a new lancet in the thing already. I already changed it today. Um, a lancet is like a little poker thing in case you're wondering. Um, so I get out an alcohol swab out of here. Are you saying hi? Kate, okay, come here. Say hi, friends. Hi, Pam. Okay, it's time to get your blood checked. What finger? That one? Okay. She is three years old, for those of you who don't know. She turned three in June, and she is a trooper. So I just clean her finger, and then we poke her and get some blood in the tester, and then we get to put a band aid on. Hi. Huh? While it reads, I put her Band-Aid on. And she's doing really good right now. Um, she's only 107, so that's really good, especially before yay, a meal. Yay. yay, you're done! You're so brave, huh? So after that, it's I just, Elsa I make sure to like clean. Anna. Elsa and Anna, yeah. I just clean off the tip of this to make sure that like if any blood got on there, it's not, um, gross. <laughs> He's showing them. Um, and then I put all of her supplies away. Okay, say bye to our friends because you were so brave bye on the video. Friends. Bye, friends. Um, so we're going to go feed her now. And um, her blood is in... It's been pretty weird today, honestly. Like, today we've had, like, right under 300s, clear down to the 70s. It's been literally all over the place today. I don't even know. Yesterday, we didn't have anything under um, 150. And it's just crazy. Like, every day is so different. Every day is, like, all over the place right now. She's still not insulin dependent. Um, and because she needs to have... They said once she hits the 300 range, that's when um, she'll end up... Uh, getting further treatment for it right now we're just simply testing um so yeah that is how she's doing right now so um she has not had time is it dead she's not had time in the hospital for this yet um just lots and lots and lots of tests and doctor's appointments so um that's good and hard at the same time because like when right now we're like at this phase where if she is super high, beside taking her into the hospital, there's nothing we can do for her at home. And so, thankfully, she's been able to come back down at the three-hour mark every time and is not above 300. At, um, sorry, above 250 at the two-hour mark or 300 at either. Um, she's always, like, the other day she actually was at the one-hour mark after eating. She was, um... 298 or something and today she's had some that were like 270s which is high it's not that it's not high it's just not high enough to like rush to the hospital high so we're kind of in this weird getting closer to insulin dependent but not there yet because we caught her diabetes so early so anyway that is where we're at right now she has good uh good energy like she just had sometimes and then there's other times where she's super high where she just lays on the couch crying or sad or um really ornery or things like that so she's kind of just like all over the place with like her emotions and how she's feeling and yeah it's been it's been crazy but um of course we will keep you updated when she is in the hospital becoming insulin dependent and stuff and going through all that of course I will let you guys know but right now we're just kind of just hanging on so anyway I'm gonna go see what she needs so we'll see you later bye guys